Today I'm going to talk about this FOD Sports M1S Pro Bluetooth headset. Now this is designed to work with either full face helmet or a three quarter helmet. I did see some other videos posted online reviewing this product, but it looks like all of those reviews were paid reviews or promotional reviews for this company where they provided the equipment for free in exchange for a positive review. So I bought this on my own and plan to give an honest review. Gonna be installing this on two different helmets so we can see how it works with the variations between different helmet manufacturers. The one on the left is my helmet that's an HJC I-10. The one on the right is my wife's helmet and that's a Bell qualifier. So let's go ahead and see what's inside the box. These feel like they're pretty good quality. This plastic has a nice coating on it. For its size, it's got a decent amount of weight. It doesn't feel cheap and hollow and tinny. There's a quick start guide, operation manual, and installation manual. So here we have the earpieces, as well as the microphone. Now this is the microphone that is designed to be used with a three-quarter helmet. Another set. The double stick pad. Some felt pads. Another set. Okay, this is the mounting bracket for the Bluetooth piece. We have two of those. Additional accessories, I'm assuming the second microphone is going to be in here that we're going to be using. This looks like the microphone for the full helmet. Get the microphone for the full helmet, USB cord. This looks like an auxiliary, an auxiliary cable. All right, the first thing that I'm gonna do is start prepping these helmets for the installation. So I'm gonna start removing the padding and the liners from the inside of the helmet. All right, so the liners are out. So you'll see right here, right here it's got a recessed area for the speaker and a cutout, a microphone wire, and then a spot for the microphone right there. Now this is on the HJC I-10 helmet. And there it is on the other side as well. So I separated that three-quarter helmet microphone. Now I'm gonna attach the other microphone. So I'm gonna want this on the left side of my helmet. So I'm gonna start here on the left side. And that's the side that my microphone is gonna be fed from. So I did see a review where somebody commented that the microphone wire was not long enough. Now mine is plenty long. Place for the wire, come around right there. So I'm gonna start putting my Velcro pads in here and then I'll be ready to start actually attaching these speakers in the microphone. They have these two felt pads. These are for the speakers. So I'm gonna put one here, one on the other side.
Now the piece provided for the microphone is a square. So I'm gonna trim this up so it matches the microphone. Trimmed. You'll notice that one of these wires is longer than the other. So obviously this is the speaker that goes on the side where you want to mount the, the Bluetooth unit. Mine's going on this side. All right, now I'm gonna install the clip. It's gonna hold the Bluetooth in place. I have it mounted right about here. Now they give you two options. You can use their mounting clip or you can use some double-sided 3M tape to mount it. I'm gonna use the clip because I don't wanna put any sticky stuff on my helmet. So the way that this gets assembled, this might be deceiving. The longer side goes inside the helmet, not the other way around, not like that. Um, so it goes this way, and then this mounts on here, like that. All right, so I'll work this in. Now, before I get this all the way on, I'm going to start putting this piece on there because. This is the second time I did this um, before I'm showing it on the camera. It was a little bit more difficult for me to get this on once this piece was all the way up here just because it was closer to the helmet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bend this out a little bit, give me some leverage. There it is. So that's snapped into place and I'm just gonna push that up in the position. And now this, the way that this mounts, you see there's a little lip right here. So I'm gonna put that little lip into the bottom and then snaps into the top. That's it, it's on there. You can position that wherever you want. And my wire's coming out here. We're gonna plug in there. And then I'll tuck away the excess inside here. I'm gonna follow the same process. I'm gonna remove all the liner pieces and place my Velcro, run the wires, put the liners back in, and then attach the clip and the Bluetooth. Okay, now I'm going to attach the bracket. Alright, so I finally got to take the motorcycle on a nice long ride. 
and try out the intercom system. All right, so the Bluetooth connectivity was very easy. Everything reconnected. When I turned the system on at the start of the day, the buttons are easy to use, they're easy to find. Tested the phone call functionality. The phone calls are loud and clear. Same with the intercom. Everything was loud and clear, easy to hear. And my biggest complaint is that the music is just not loud enough. Secondly, the music is very tinny and very thin sounding. There's not enough low end. Now I had the volume turned all the way up on the device. I made sure that the volume was all the way up on my phone. Now, depending on the part of the song that was playing, um, if it was a low part, I couldn't hear it. Um, some of the melodies I couldn't make out. So usually when a song first comes on, you know immediately what the song is. So with this device, what I noticed was I couldn't actually make out what the song was until um, the song really started progressing or the volume in the song got louder. I'm not sure why, but when you're using the phone or the intercom, it's much louder. But when you're playing the music, it's just not loud enough. Maybe it's designed like that on purpose so that it's not drowning out any road noise for safety reasons. But still, I think it could be a little bit louder. Now, depending on what you ride and how loud your motorcycle, four-wheeler, whatever it is, it may or may not work for you. I ride a Harley with Vance and Hines long shot pipes with baffles removed. So it is a little bit loud. And that's the sound that drowns out the music just a little bit. Wasn't road noise or wind noise or anything like that. It was just the sound of the bike it was overpowering the music. So I don't hate it. I just wish that it was a little bit louder. It'll serve its purpose. I'll continue to use it. You know, I don't think that, that I'll return the device. Hopefully this information was helpful. And if you like the information that I provide on my channel, give us a like and give us a subscribe and um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. You know, those things definitely help our channel.